Welcome to the uh, weekend workshop. Uh, we're just going to do a quick run through the different types of TIG front end you can get on your TIG torch and which is best and uh, which works well in, in certain situations. So this torch here has got the basically the standard setup you'd expect to see uh, on a torch which is a um, aluminum ceramic, a collet body and uh, a collet inside. This setup is uh, widely available, pretty cheap. You get a big range of different uh, nozzles, different bore sizes, lengths, uh, and that sort of thing. So very flexible to, in terms of access and uh, uh, quite compact. Uh, one of the limitations is the gas flow is not particularly good. The gas just comes out of four holes in the collet body and is directed by the ceramic. So it tends to come out swirly out the front of the nozzle. So you can't have a lot of tungsten stick out. If you've got a drafty environment, it's not too good there. Um, so limitation there. The second limitation is the collet itself. Um, if you're running towards the top end of the uh, operating capability of the torch, the collet tends to overheat. Uh, you can see this one's just starting to bulge um, at the front there, and that overheats and starts to twist, and eventually you won't be able to clamp the tungsten with it. You can upgrade that. Uh, there's a thing available called the wedge collet. As you can see, it's all brass. It doesn't have any slots in it, and uh, you can slip that on. You can still use the standard collet body with that, and that you'll find that will last a lot longer than a standard uh, slitted um, collet. An upgrade from the sort of collet body setup would be to go to the uh, gas saver front end. So this is a collet body, but with a special nose piece on it that's got some uh, mesh gauzes on it. If I just uh, screw that on there. Uh, what happens is the gauze is, uh, as the gas pus passes through them, it makes a very linear flow uh, of the gas uh, and so smooths the gas out. So it gives you better gas coverage, more resistance to drafts and that sort of thing. Uh, and effectively, in most situations, you can turn the gas down, hence the reason gas saver. Um, the other advantages of these generally come with a, a clear glass nozzle, so it gives you improved visibility, uh, but still re retaining a fairly compact uh, front end. Uh, there's larger series available. This is a, a, a larger gas lens uh, front, and uh, you can see a much larger cup you can put on there with a, obviously a different a holder. Uh, but limitation is there's not that many uh, different sizes of cups available, so you're limited to what, what you can do with them. Uh, but they have, do have the advantage of improve your gas coverage and allow you to generally turn the gas down by probably you know 10 to 15 percent reduction in uh, gas consumption. The third setup you can use is a traditional uh, gas lens. The advantage of the gas lens is uh, where the gas saver has got a, a relatively small area, the gas lens itself has a much larger uh, area where, where the gas comes through the mesh gauzes, has more of them stacked together so it improves the uh, laminar flow of the gas uh, so it just tends to come out of the torch much smoother. Disadvantage of the gas lens is it creates some bulk on the front of the torch. Just screw this on. You'll notice there's an extra, in this case uh, with the P26, there's an extra washer we need to put on heat seal. So I'll put the cup on there. You can see this extra bulk at the back. The front end tapers down to all, all the different nozzle diameters, but you've got some extra bulk there, which may cause you an issue depending on, on what you're doing, if that's going to get in the way. Big advantage of the gas lens is it's much better at giving you that laminar flow. You can run with longer tungsten projections from the front of the torch. It's more resistant to uh, drafts uh, affecting the, the gas coverage. So if 
well quality is your prime concern and ensuring you've got a really good uh, gas envelope uh, while you're welding the gas lens is, is, is the solution this is a standard one you can get large series and extra large series gas lenses to extend the, the area of coverage um, if you're welding with more sensitive materials um, so flexible disadvantages a lot of bulk on the front of the torch but it will give you the best gas coverage middle ground is the uh, gas saver setup and then i said the basic can set up is using the collet body that's the most flexible you get the most widest range of nozzles available in in the collet body but you've also got quite extensive range with the uh, the gas lens uh, set up as well thanks for watching and uh, just watch out for any more uh, videos coming online on powell tv on youtube thank you